We have a great system in place for um, accommodating everyone, uh, red lights, green lights, uh, on ramps, off ramps, the way our roadways are designed. They'll accommodate all of us if we all make a conscious effort to obey the rules of the roads. Uh, otherwise, those same shortcuts that we may take, other drivers are taking as well, and that contributes to the gridlock. When we get in our car, we're a little bit selfish. and We get out there and we say, well, I have to go someplace, not realizing and not giving the benefit to the other drivers that have to be someplace too. I would like to see everybody be a cooperative driver. And we work as a team then. You know, you take a basketball team or a football team, any individual can go out there and be the star. But in order to make the team really work good, everybody has to work together. They have to cooperate. You let people in and you're still going to keep moving forward. I've just made life a little bit easier for my fellow driver. He has his turn signal, well, come on in front of me. What's that going to cost me? A second of time? But it's going to make a difference for him because all of a sudden somebody's nice to him, lowers his blood pressure, there's less rage on the road. So if you had a chance to give somebody a $20 bill that really needed it, would that make you feel good? Well, we have the opportunity to really help people out by being courteous. It's like giving them this $20 bill, except that we still got our $20 bill, so it's not costing us anything, and it's making us feel a lot better just to be courteous to someone. It's a gift that we really give ourselves and help somebody else out. Courtesy is contagious. And if you are courteous to somebody else out on the highway, they'll remember that and be courteous to another person. And if we could get that permeate throughout society, and everybody was driving courteous on the highway, we wouldn't need the traffic laws that we have.